All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Common question I get regarding fig trees is, do fig trees need a lot of water? And I just find actually that's not the case, but right now here in the Philadelphia area, it is summertime and it's uh, roughly 96 degrees today. And when the temperatures are this warm, the soil is warmer. And when the soil is warmer, the metabolisms of our trees increase. And that means they suck up a lot more water. They're producing carbohydrates quicker. They're getting more photosynthesis and making use of that photosynthesis. And so they typically need more water at this time. And I would argue that for the container figs especially, even though figs are drought tolerant, and probably one of the most drought tolerant species of fruiting plants that I know of, they do need a lot of water to be happy and healthy at this time of the year. Especially when the temperatures are in the 80s, 90s, on hundreds. My container figs, as an example, right now are getting about a half gallon of water every day. These are the five gallon sizes. So about an 11 by 11 inch container or 12 inches by 12 inches. For every five gallons of soil, think about it, you need about a half gallon of water. So if you have a 10 gallon, maybe a gallon of water a day. For in-ground figs, it's a little different, but nonetheless, they also need a lot of water. And so for established in-ground figs, you wanna give them, especially in really hot places, guys, you know if it's really hot where you live, and you also know if it's dry. If you live in the desert, Southern California, West Texas, Arizona, you guys really need more water than everybody else. When there's less leaves on the tree, we need less water. When it's cooler outside, we need less water. When it's raining, obviously we need less water. But during this time, our in-ground figs need probably anywhere from a gallon of water every day to five gallons of water, depending on the size and age of our fig tree. So if you're seeing that common cause of yellowing leaves, dropping leaves, browning of the leaves, that could be a sign actually of too much water. If you're seeing the figs actually fall off the trees, the most common reason for that is actually a lack of water. So what I would do is I would invest in, first and foremost, mulch. Every one of my container fig trees here, guys, has mulch. And you'll see that there on the top of the soil of every single tree I got. But also I'd recommend getting myself, and yourself, I should say, an automatic irrigation timer. These irrigation timers go on every day and you can see the next one's going on in 56 minutes. I set it for the duration and I also know exactly how much water they're getting based on these emitters I have. These are called spot spitters and they come out from the main irrigation line, go into the pots that I choose and every single day the timer goes on and they're automatically watered for me. For the duration, the frequency, and I would just highly recommend that you guys invest in a similar thing. This will make your life a lot easier so that we can focus on other things that are more important, like fertilizer, sunlight, training them properly. And then of course, once we have all that set up, we're gonna actually be able to enjoy our fruits and harvest them properly. So thanks for watching this one. That was, um, how much water fig trees need and do they need a lot of water? Hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that like button and check out the blog, figboss.com. Catch you for the next one.